Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games, and today, at the request of one of my, my subscribers, uh, who, who's from Brazil and is a Space Force player, I'm going to talk about what I would put in f in this for 500 points, 1,000 points, 1,500 and 2,000 points. I won't go any higher than that because they're the game, size games I normally play. Uh, right, for 500 points, I'd have Arjak, I'd have three units of Blood Claws, a Rhino with two Storm Bolters, and hunt a killer missile just to fill out the points that come and one, one of the blood calls would have six blood calls in it and that that would put you at 499 points and that's that's it uh next up is a thousand points and what i'd do is i'd add another rhino i'd add ragnar uh, I, but the rhinos would only have one storm bolt a missile, a storm bolt was each, so I wouldn't add the extras on for that. I'd then have ter terminators, oh, four of them with thunder hammer and shield, and one with two lightning claws. That's it. Uh, I'd then have an outrider squad, and that comes in at 1990 points. I mean, for 10 points, you, I suppose you could add the extra Storm Bolt or on, on to each of the Rhinos to make it a dead on a thousand. Uh, but no, it's not necessary. Uh, but I suppose if you want to round out and, make, and not feel that you're doing yourself out of points, you'd put two Storm Bolters on each of the Rhinos and that would be a thousand points. So 1500 points. Again, it's pretty much everything I've done there. You you, you might have to have an auxiliary in, in there just to get the second outrider squad in, uh, which is the, what you're adding extra. Uh, you're having Thunderwolf Cavalry, you're having Fenrisian Wolves, uh, 13 of them and the Judiciary, and that brings that list up to 1496. Uh, again, everything else was the same as the thousand points list, but you drop the uh, two two extra storm bolts off the rhinos just to, to bring it into 1496. Uh, and that's it. Now my 2,000 point list, I'm going to give you the 2,000 point list I took against Nick. Last, well it will be last Wednesday by the time this video comes up. Uh, and I uh, I will link he uh, and he will have a back wrap up of that at some point. So I'm not going to tell you how it went. Uh, but this is my 2,000 point list for that. I had Logan Grimner on the Stormwolf because he's got Swift Hunter now, which is pretty cool rule. Uh, I've got Ragnar Blackmane, excellent. Does what it says on the box with him. I've got Ulrich Vestalaya, Then I had three units of five blood claws each, one pack leader in each, of course. Uh, I had some Fenrin Rishin Wolves, I had a Judiciaire, I had an Outrider squad, this is in the bit, my battalion bit, I had a four Thunderwolf cavalry, all, all with sh uh, shields and hammers, then I had three sets of Long Fangs units, and they all, uh, the four of them had uh, 
grab cannons and the back leaders were bog standard which is pistol and sh sword and then two rhinos with a storm bolt on each and then I had an out auxiliary detachment of an outrider squad and that was my 2000 points uh, what I found and why I took the Thunder Wolves, the Fenrisian Wolves and Logan is that those three units with Swift Hunters which allow them to move, advance and charge all in the same turn uh, and if you've got a, a, a possibly add a chaplain in or, on the bike into that and uh, to get canticles of hate off and just put them with easy re-rollable charges, first turn charges on the new sport board size at, at least because you think what your your minimum 10 inches that's an eight uh, and mechanical debate you should be a minimum of eight and it depends on the board size and you can always hide and make your opponent go first and bring them closer then then charge in your turn but I think those rules make for make those units interesting now and it's always good to see and try I hope that helps if you if you've liked this video and want to see more please hit the like button share share and please comment and interact if you want specific lists oh, for any reason i'm quite willing to uh, sit down and discuss that with you arthur again tell me what you've got um we, we can decide on the, uh, the way to go uh based on what your meta is and and the missions and the bits and pieces uh that list last list the 2000 point list i took against nick my my secondaries were engage on all fronts uh deploy scramblers and bring them down uh, which I think based on the list I had and, and what Nick had was a very solid choice uh, deploy scramblers pretty much is an easy three points probably better if you use a squad, squad of wolf guard in a land speeder storm wolf guard scouts isn't it yeah in, in the land land speeder storm moves 18 inches bump. so you do it in your thing do it in the middle of a board and you do it uh, the opponent's side and you can get across the board like that quite easily uh but as i said i did it i i think it's an e easy 10 points you do it three times but your your deployment's own middle of the board and the opponent's uh, deployment and i think it's more uh, an easy 10 points and um, it's not okay it's not that you're not going to max out your secondaries but you're going to, it you're going to get 
with the other two you're going to get pretty much max points so if you're score if you're scoring 30 points plus on your secondaries and you're maxing out, out your primaries you're pretty much uh, going to win the game uh, but as I said, drop a comment in d d down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me your suggestions. Whether you agree with what I've, whether you like those lists or not, and let me know how you've been doing with your uh, wolf lists. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you have been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.